Yeah, this is not what you're making today, but almost, right? <laughs> yeah, almost. It's the same dressing. So actually, this, this is the uh, watermelon salad. Um, so we have, if you have Thai food, you probably know one of the famous dish in Thai food is papaya salad and also the dressing. So I just take the idea of the papaya salad and take out of the dressing idea and make it, mix it with the um, seasonal uh, ingredients. Uh, for example, in summer, we have fresh watermelon. The watermelon is so sweet, crisp and watery. So mix it with this dressing. Um, it, it's very refreshing uh, during the summer. But now when we move into fall, we have fresh corn and then we're going to have squash later on. But right now today, what I'm going to make is the same dressing that what watermelon salad is being served. It's just the, with corn today. That's, that's great. Well, we'd love to see that. And I know that we are able to share the recipe for the dressing, which you've been uh, yep. kind enough to share as well with us. And so we'll pass that along to everyone and let you know how to find it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so, um, and if anyone has any questions uh, who's watching for Chef Yo, please drop it in the uh, chat box and Cindy will send it my way. Um, but let's, um, let's, let's take a look at the corn salad, if, if you don't mind. Tell us about sure. how it comes um, together. So basically what I'm trying to, uh, what I'm doing today is the same thing that uh, I introduced you with the watermelon salad. So the dressing itself, it's, um, as you mentioned it, the Oreo program, that um, Thai food, it's kind of like, um, it's harmonies with flavors, aromatic, everything all together. It's kind of, it's, it's like you listening to the orchestra you know, all the instrument playing, all the music, the ingredients in Thai food are the same as well. But the key ingredients for Thai food, especially for this dressing, is the lamb. Uh, we have chili, like a bird eye chili, and garlic. And also, instead of using just regular tomato, we have the heirloom tomato, which is give you the flavor, like much intense flavor, rather than the regular tomato. And of course, fish sauce, you can, but if you're vegan, you can twist it, not using a bit uh, salt, you can use salt instead. It's fine to me, I tried it before. It, it makes it slightly different, but it's not that, um, that much. And also, uh, I have lamb juice here. And of course, the, the one that you mentioned it before, it's the um, palm sugar. So the palm sugar, they come in two, two sizes. The one with the, in shape already, like this, it's 150, uh, 150 gram per piece. So it's already measured for you. Or you can get another one that come in like a plastic can that you open it. But that one, you will have a candle in the top. So you need to get rid of the candle that they seal it first. It's a traditional Thai way to seal it. We don't need, we don't need um, like a big machine to do this. It's the very traditional way. But I mean, for the dressing, you have to break this um, palm sugar first. But if you make curry, if you make like a green curry or red curry, you can just drop this in um, the, cur um, the coconut milk that you already sauteed with the curry paste. So it's very easy to use. Um, it's not, the sweetness of the palm sugar, it's not too sharp um, compared to the regular fine sugar. Um, when I was young, as a kid, I can just eat this like a candy at home. And it's, it's very good. It's, a, it's made from coconut. Um, so this one is the worst. Probably better than break, probably think. better than a lot of the candies they make. It's just pure sugar. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, um, well, yeah, I think so. So in order to break it, like I can just use like a big knife, like a chef knife, to break it in half. You can see that it's it's cut easily, so it's not that hard. If you see, if you feel it like a stone, and you feel like oh, it might be hard to, you know, break it and all this stuff. So all the uh, recipe that I gave it to you, um, you can just you ask my restaurant been using. Um, you can use a blender, just regular blender. Just put everything based on the recipe, and you will get the dressing salad like this. And you can keep it in the fridge. You can mix it with any vegetable, um, anything. Um, you can even use it for the spring roll sauce, like anything. But it's it's very variety of using it. But today, what I'm gonna do it. It's very traditional Thai way, classic. You can, we can use the muddle instead. Um, the difference is that the texture of the dressing 
um, this one is will be not too fine like the blender is, but the reason that I use the blender because it's easier to clean. I'm sure that every household has a blender um, if you're cooking it and you can keep this, you know, a long time. So should we start doing with the macro thing and I, see how? Sure, yeah, let's see how it goes. Yeah, I know. If you go into a restaurant, you can see that this is the typical um, equipment, right? In every Thai restaurant has it. So we, I'm gonna start smash it with the with the garlic and the chili. So this one is already measured. Um, you can use the garlic clove like um, about three to four five um, pieces. Um, if you want spicy, you can put more of this chili. Um, and when you smash it, you not just want to, you don't want to bang it in order to get the all the chili and garlic burst into your eyes, right? You probably cover it and just slightly um, smashing it until it's it break down, but you don't want to just keep banging it. You know, that's the speed of it. You know, to, you have to keep to look at your ingredients that what you are working with, that they already kind of like expand it. You can smell the aromatic of the garlic and the chili coming out because if you bang it too hard, it's going to smash into your face and you're going to cry because of the chili, you know? So after the garlic and chili, um, I usually do it with the lamb. You can do lamb juice if you don't want lamb wish to get like a, the bitterness, but I personally love this, the taste and the smell of the lamb wish. It's a little, slightly bitter, but I mean, the bitterness is one of the flavor that I personally like it. Um, it's kind of like break down or the, uh, the other flavor. You not get, it's too sweet because you have the bitterness breaking it. You don't have it too nuttery because you have the bitterness breaking it. That's my preference. So that's what we're gonna do today. So we just smash the lamb juice out of it. Um, it depends on how the how much water of the lamb that you have, right? Um, you can if you don't want to do it, you can just, as I said, you can just juice your lamb and put it into the side of the cup in here, and then you're gonna smash the tomato. So you use the color of the tomato, the heirloom tomato. Um, the, you can try it. Uh, the, I recommend the heirloom tomato because it's, they have this very different flavor. They have the more depth of the flavors in the heirloom tomato. And um, it's pretty too. So, and you just smash it um, not too hard because to, the tomato skin, you don't want to you know, break into the tomato juice, right? Okay. And then we have long bean chili. Oh, uh, no, sorry, the long, the green long bean. It's not a chili, it's the, it's the, um, it's a Thai bean. But if you don't have the Thai bean in your uh, roca earlier, you can use the sugar snap pea, you can use the um, French long bean, just regular long bean is fine as well. It's not that much different. Okay. And Chef, uh, there was a question about the tomatoes. Do you find that the tomatoes in Thailand are different than the tomatoes here? Yeah, the flavor is different. Um, it's the same thing with the herb. Like the, the flavors of the lemongrass in Thailand is very spicy. It's kind of like chili. But lemongrass in the, in, in the state is very uh, sweet and um, not as much as uh, aromatic as in Thailand. The tomato as well. I think it's because of the, the weather and the soil that we grow up thing mix big herbs and vegetables slightly different okay and yeah. i put the the, the palm and, and, sugar in there yep Sorry. Uh, there was a question about the tomatoes are the tomatoes peeled or do you put them in with the peel on no uh, no it's it's not peeled at all it's just with the peel on because you want the shape of the, the tomato still like a piece if you if you try the papaya salad in thailand um, it's the same thing. They put the tomato, but you, you don't see, but you want the juice tomato to mix it with the palm sugar. And of course, fish sauce and lamb juice as well. Okay. And then um, I put the fish sauce in here. So this is the, the step of making the, um, the, the dressing. Okay. So it's the same thing. If you have a blender, as I said, you put everything all together and just blending it until it's become um, 
uh, a dressing like water, I like everything, even though the tomato that you just blend all the tomato skin and everything, uh, um, not see the, 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 the rest of it. But this is very, very traditional Thai way. You see the, the look when I put it on the plate that it's going to look like a papaya salad. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So now, um, after I mix all the ingredients, everything, I will now we're not going to smash anything because we don't want to um, break any liquidy or anything else inside. It's just, uh, the rest. Could, yeah. Could we see in the, is it easy for you to move the camera into? Sure. The, so we, or, I think people would love to see what it looks like there before we add okay. another solid. Yep. Um, Do you be able to? Here we go. You can see that that's yeah. the the dressing and all the stuff, the water, the oh, liquid of the fish sauce, the garlic, the tomato, and the palm sugar is already in there. Wonderful. Yeah. Now what we're gonna mix is what we're gonna mix is with corn. So basically this fresh corn for this season. So you just boil it and just cut into pieces, you know, to get rear it and you just mix it with the dressing that we have. Mm. The sweetness of the corn we incorporate with the um, the the dressing that we have, and it will enhance the flavors of the corn. The other the other thing is because when you serve the salad, you want something that have the crunchiness of it, right? So basically, we put peanut in it. But if you're not a fan of peanut or you're allergic to peanut, you can use other thing. You can use crispy shallot. You can use the um, um, other nuts that you're not allergic to. You can use almond, you can use like so many things to get the, just the crunchiness, okay? Now so you can see that it's look like the papaya salad in Thailand right now, right? And it's colorful too. You have the red from the tomato, you have the yellow from the corn, you have the green from the bean, right? There we go. And I, I, I tried this salad when I was there last week, and I can say it is perfect example of balance. I mean, it, it was sweet and spicy and sour and salty and yeah, all of it. it. As we talked it before, like I always compare Thai food to the, um, it's like you see a firework that, you know, when you have the first bite, um, it's like you see the firework at the same time. You see many colors, it's bursted. You know, if you see the dressing is not enough, you and you have the dressing, you can spoil it on on the table. It's the uh, same thing as well. If you want the salad to be very, you know, juicy and all this stuff. So now you got like a corn salad with the what I call palm sugar vinaigrette. You know, because it's basically it's made from the palm sugar and have the tomato and the fish sauce and lamb juice. So yeah. Well, Chef, thank you so much for sharing. Hopefully everyone is going to be making a salad tonight and we'll try out your, your, your dressing. <laughs>